This is a quick follow along routine to strengthen the muscles in your neck and eliminate pain. I'm Dr. Jared. Thank you so much for joining me today. Our first exercise is going to be chin tucks. Lie down on your back in a comfortable position with your knees bent. What we're going to do is tuck this chin straight down into our throat so that we flatten our neck into the floor and then return back to a neutral position. I'll hit start on my timer and we'll get started. So again, you're going to push your neck down into the floor. You're going to tuck your chin down into your throat. We're going to hold that in a comfortable position for three to five seconds and then reset back to neutral. This is a great stretch down in the bottom of that. You should really feel it right in the base of your skull. This is a common area for a lot of tension, especially if you get like tension headaches or carry a lot of stress right at the base of your skull. This is a great way that we can just start to work some of that out. We're just going for mobility here. We're trying to get those muscles loosened up and warmed up. And this is what the chin tucks look like. So we've got 60 seconds on this. Then for the next exercise, we're actually going to add a head lift to the chin tucks. This is a great way to work on the deep flexors in the neck. They rarely get worked. A lot of times we work those extensor muscles, especially with poor posture, computer jobs, things like that. So we're going to strengthen the other side with this. You're going to perform a chin tuck. So pull that um, chin down into your throat, hold that position. Now all we have to do is lift the head slightly up off of the floor. And then we're going to hold that for about five seconds and then return to that neutral position chin tuck. So put it in the right position. Now lift that face straight up towards the ceiling. Hold two, three, four, five, and then come right back down. Now, if you haven't worked these muscles before, this can be a little aggressive. And so if you need to take longer between exercises or longer between reps, please feel free to do that. Just like that. Nothing should be painful, should be nice and comfortable. We want to feel those muscles working, but I don't want it to necessarily be painful. And we'll perform this for 60 seconds. Our next exercise, we're going to roll over onto our left side and hang our, hang our head off of the edge of a bed. So you can lie down on your bed for this hang your head off of the side, and we're gonna work on these lateral muscles right here in a lateral flexion motion. So I'm gonna let my head fall down to the left and then use the muscles on the right side of my neck to pull the top of my head up towards the ceiling and then return right back down to this position right here. Now, some people they'll ask, well, what do I do with my arm during this? You can put it in front, but you're gonna get a better stretch on those lateral neck muscles if you keep your hand either up here on your side or even tuck it behind yourself slightly. That will help to kind of keep this shoulder blade down to really increase the stretch on that side of those muscles. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll come down nice and slow. You can even spend one or two seconds down here, kind of stretch that out and then come right back up to that position, up to that flexion position right here. And we'll go like this for 60 seconds. Now, if your neck is painful and doesn't allow you to go full through this full range of motion, what you can do is just keep the motion a little bit smaller. Try to keep it in a pain free range as you do that. What you're going to do now is roll over onto your right side. I'm going to I'm going to flip over this way just so that I can still face you. I can still face the camera. We're going to keep things even. We're going to do this on the other side now. So I'm laying on my right left hand comes right here to the small of my back and then I'm going to let my head fall down towards the right. Oh, that feels good. Just a good comfortable stretch on the left side and then use those muscles on the left to pull back up towards the ceiling. And so if you focus on pulling the top of your head up towards the ceiling, that's kind of a good cue that lets you know that you're performing that in that right motion. And so once again, about 60 seconds on this one, just through as much pain free range of motion as you have available. And 
then up next is gonna be one of my favorite ways to strengthen the postural muscles in the back of your neck. These are going to be some extensions or some neck extensions. You're going to lie down on the edge of your bed with your chest supported, but let your face fall down towards the floor. Now from here, what I'm going to do is pull the back of my head straight up towards the ceiling until I can, until it's just, you know, a good contraction right in the back of your neck and then return back down again. Now you'll notice that my face actually stays parallel to the floor on this one. I don't want you to look up like this. That puts a lot of stress right at the base of your skull. But we're using some of the bigger postural muscles to just pull my flat head right up towards the ceiling. It just puts the neck in a much better position, puts the head in a much better position. If we could stay there throughout most of our day, it would really take care of a lot of the posture problems that we have, a lot of the tension and muscle knot problems that we have. This is one of my favorite exercises and most of the patients that I recommend this to enjoy it, they respond really well to this. Okay, and then from this position, we're going to slide down slightly and we're going to perform an exercise that's really great at activating the muscles between your shoulder blades. We're gonna work a little more of the posture muscles on this. This is a prone T. So you're going to lie down with your arms outstretched in this T position, lift your chest up off of the floor and then pull your hands up towards the ceiling. Really feel those muscles between your shoulder blades engage with this and then we're gonna return back down to the start position. And so we're gonna pull and lift and hold one, two, three, and then return right back down. And so you're gonna feel this one a little bit lower. We're kind of working more of the upper back muscles with this one, but those neck muscles are definitely active in supporting your head in this upright posture, just like this. And again, if you've never done an activity like this before, if you've never done any back strengthening, you're definitely going to feel this. If that's the case, take your rep number down a little bit. Um, just you know, try to keep it in a comfortable range with the understanding that um, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, I'd rather have you do this multiple times in the week rather than just one time all out. So please keep that in mind. And then finally, our last exercise, um, one of my favorite that you can do at home to work on your posture, to work on your neck and your upper back muscles. These are some wall angels. Um, we're actually gonna do some angel rows with this. Back up to a wall, I've got my hips, my shoulder blades and the back of my head up against the wall. I'm going to start in this position, pull until my knuckles get to the wall, up and overhead, and then come back down to this position and then return to that start. So this is the row right here. We're gonna pull the arms back to the wall, knuckles against the wall as I come up into that angel, kind of like a snow angel, right, right here, and then return to the start position. So I'm gonna pull into the row, knuckles to the wall, up and over my head in the angel, and then back down, and then back down to the row. And what you should feel here is again, all of those postural muscles between the shoulder blades and from the shoulder blades to the neck, you should feel those active and activating, um, getting stronger right through here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, keep in mind that consistency is key with anything that we do for strength. And so come back and perform this routine regularly. I recommend, oh, three, four, five times a week is usually a pretty good number for most people. Hope it helps your neck to feel better. Thank you so much for joining me.